Hi guys, this is the second part of my tutorial. Uh, the first part we went ahead and uh, jailbroke the BlackBerry playbook. In case you've not had jailbroken your playbook, uh, click on the link that pops up right now to take you back to the first part of my uh, video so that you can go ahead and jailbreak this and jailbreak this. And then this is the part where we're gonna, uh, what do you say? This is the part where we're gonna install the Android market and uh, start getting some decent Android apps onto this device. Okay, so what we need to do right now is uh, if you've just jailbroken your device then obviously you're gonna have the development mode on. If not, just go back inside, you know, just, I'm sorry, just uh, tap this, the gear cog over there and uh, go to security and click on use development mode okay the next thing you need to do is set up your PC for uh, this process there are four files linked link 1, link 2, link 3, link 4 download all these files and preferably save them all in the same folder once you're, uh, once you're done just pause the video right now get that done and get back okay guys once you have uh, these four files over here the first thing we need to do is get DDPB installed so right click and select uh, open with uh, right click and select run as administrator I already have I've just installed it so I have it on my system okay you know, let's quickly open up a DDPB um, 169 and my password is QWERTY okay so I'm just gonna hit connect and it's connected so now we're gonna click on add and navigate to the blackberry folder that we created and the file we downloaded honeycomb honeycomb launcher rebuild.bar you're gonna hit, a, hit select it and now select it again and click install okay now it's done and once you're done with the installation go to WinSCP right click run as administrator just go ahead uh, sorry yep go ahead and finish the installation hit launch okay what we need to do now is we need to click start and type P U T T Y so this is something that gets installed along with WinSCP when we did the installation click on it and uh, you're gonna have to click on load and now nav navigate into wherever it is that we saved the dingleberry and inside the dingleberry folder you're not gonna see anything any files that's because you need to change it to all files now if you click on the RSA file, make sure you click RSA and not RSA.pub. Okay, it's gonna say something, click OK. And now you're gonna click save private key. Not save public key, but save private key. It's gonna ask you whether you wanna save the key without a passphrase to protect it. Click yes. And save the private, I mean, save it over here. So I'm entering any name here say playbook and uh, click on save now that's done just close this off go on, click on uh, window the star start orb and type win scp so once you get that open it and over here the host name is going to be the same uh, ip address that we used from development mode that's 169.254 dot zero dot one this is the default address leave the port number as 22 and under username you're gonna type d e sorry d e v u s e r leave the password as blank and here it asks you for the private key file we just saved that so we gotta navigate back to that uh, the same folder where we saved it see you've got the file there just double click it it's loaded and under file transfer protocol make sure you select SC 
P. Now that we've entered all these details, you just need to click on advanced options, select SCP shell and over here you need to enter this command. So uh, this command is saved right below link number 4. Uh, I'll have labeled it as command. Just copy and paste it without the quotations and also make sure that look up user groups would be selected here by default uncheck it it'll be checked uncheck it and now hit save and save the session because if you fail to save it you're gonna have to type all these details again so I'm gonna save it again and leave it as the as it is the next thing we need to do is head back into Dingleberry the one we used to originally jailbreak the playbook right click run as administrator and this time select dingle ssh and hit connect so now a connection has been established so now we come back to winscp login and hit login so just go ahead click yes and we've got access to the playbook so now we head back to the folder uh, where we saved all our files the folder where we saved the, fir the first four links that we downloaded and we unzip the G apps okay I know it might the whole procedure might seem a little complicated but don't worry about it we are almost done here so we're this close to having Android market on our playbook so let's just get to that now so over here with WinSCP uh, you get two panes this one is the what do you say your computer and this is the Blackberry so on the computer we're gonna navigate on we are going to navigate on to where we have our G apps saved okay just to get you a better view so I'm gonna go into okay uh, D drive is where I have mine saved G apps okay so now uh, over here on the playbooks uh, side on WinSCP keep, keep clicking the dots until you go on top until you reach the root so once you see accounts air apps base bin this is the root folder okay now from the uh, G apps folder we're gonna drag both meta.inf and system over to the root side make sure you drag you don't drag it into a folder you drag it somewhere over here and uh, click on copy and wait for it to do, do its job and whenever, whenever it asks any kind of questions just click yes to all okay and that's done now we need to go into system over here and then app and over here search for something called setup uh, setup wizard dot apk right click it delete it and that's done okay now uh, hit this back so you're back at the root folder okay so go ahead and click on apps from the root folder now uh, you just need to search for an app that looks like uh, sys.android.somethingsomething.ns so the name varies from uh, playbook to playbook so I wouldn't be able to give you the exact one and it is a pain to sort through everything so just but it needs to be done look for something that says sys.android
Okay, there it is. Sys.android. So, click on it. Go inside. and click on native and then scripts over here we have android player cmd so right click on it select custom command and hit execute the same way there's another way another thing called kill android core sh dot sh right click custom commands execute so now uh, we need to restart the playbook ok now we are gonna uh, reboot the playbook so give it a minute I'll be with you once it gets back up ok now we click on HCL updater uh, if it works right if it works fine and you know the market loads up for you right now then fine well, well and good in case you're stuck on the initializing please wait screen for a couple of minutes and the app shuts down by itself then this is what we need to do just click on link number five and have it downloaded it's just 42 MB so once it's done get back to the video pause it for now okay well, once the bar file is downloaded just right click on it extract open it up you see two files inside sys.android.bar sys.browser.bar what you need to do here is open up ddpb installer click on add navigate to the place where these two files exist select them both click on open so now you can see that these files are added over here so check these two files and hit install and just give it a couple of minutes to do its job okay so now that it's done let's click on cancel I'm just gonna quickly move on to the playbook go to HCL updater got an orientation issue so give it a minute uh, hit honeycomb launcher now go into apps find market yes and that's it we have market I'm just gonna sign into my account so here I am signing into the market so just finish setup Accept. So there you go, you've got Android Market on the Blackberry Playbook. The thing right now is that currently we've used this version of the opera firmware uh, 4869 because that was the one that was rootable. So if you wanted to upgrade, uh, upgrade the Ta tablet to the latest firmware it's fine you're not gonna lose your root ability or you're not gonna lose the market so just to show that I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly upgrade mine before I before I'm done with this video go back to development mode turn it back on enter my password that's QWERTY in case you're wondering enough back to the computer and uh, enter my password oops sorry and I'm going to click on update and it says 2.0 bundle 6.49 yep get the update so I'm just gonna come back we'll come back once the update is done just to show you guys so catch you soon okay so the update is done and the playbook is back up so I'm just gonna sign in and just to show you OS version 2.0.0.6149 that's the latest as of today today is the 13th of January 2012 so going into HCL updater now honeycomb launcher 
Okay, Android seems to work. Let's check whether the market works. Opening up market. And you can see that the market has loaded up. Guys, that's it for the video right now. Hopefully you have a playbook that's running the latest beta version uh, along with Android Market uh, on it. So uh, have a good time with your playbooks. Uh, and a little percentage of you uh, might run into some issues uh, with the Android Market once you upgrade your playbook to the latest firmware. Uh, in that case, click the link that pops up right now. I've made a short little video on a, on a quick fix. Uh, on how to get that sorted so don't worry about it that'll take you like five to ten minutes max and in, in all probability your market should be up and running right now without any issues so once again thanks a lot for watching guys uh, have a great day if you have any co any questions uh, or if you run into any issues while doing this make sure you leave a comment or send me a message or better yet send me a message on Twitter because I check that more frequently the handle is at uh, cursed forever that's C U R S E D the number four E V A uh, and and you know the drill you know you like the video hit like uh, hit subscribe once again thanks a lot for watching guys you have a great day bye bye now